now we are going to discuss this question this is question number 1.3 in this question it is given to you check that the ratio ke square divided by g me mp is dimensionless okay look up at the table of physical constant and determine the value of this ratio what does this ratio signifies clear so first we have to verify or we can say first we have to prove that this ratio is a dimensionless clear so now concentrate on a screen now we can see from here you can write like this k e square divided by g m e m p clear to you so now from here we can write like this this is value of k value of k we know this is 9 into 10 to the power 9 clear but first we have to very first we have to derive that this ratio is a dimensionless so what is unit of k so first i am writing here value of k also this is equal to 9 into 10 to the power 9 this is newton meter square per coulomb square clear so here we are having unit of k this is given by newton meter square divided by coulomb square clear to you now here we have e e is what charge of an electron clear so we can write like this this is given by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb clear so we can write like this 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 this is whole square clear to everyone yes now value of capital g or oh, actually we are writing here unit so we can write like this this is we can say coulomb square clear to everyone now here it is given value of capital g so value of capital g this is given by uh, we can see we have this value 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 clear and this is equal to newton meter square per kilogram square clear so we can write like this newton meter square per kilogram square yes or no now here we are having this is me and mp means mass of an electron and mass of a proton so we can write like this mass of an electron this is given by 9.1 10 to the power minus 31 kg clear yes or no and we can also write like this mass of proton this is given by 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg definitely you can say mass of proton is greater than mass of electron yes or no so now you can say here we are having units of masses kilogram so we can write like this clear from here you can say kilogram square kilogram square is cancelled out coulomb square and coulomb square is cancelled out clear and newton meter square is also cancelled out so from here we can say this value is unitless clear this is unitless so when any value is unitless uh, definitely we can say this is also dimensionless clear so dimension of this ratio we are getting m0 l0 t0 clear so this one we have already proved clear now important part is here if we put all the values in this ratio what value we will get clear so now concentrate now actually i am writing here all the values in this expression listen carefully so value of k we have 9 into 10 to the power 9 into charge charge of an electron this is given by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 whole square divided by value of capital G value of capital G this is given by we can say 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 clear and mass of an electron this is given by 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 and mass of a proton this is given by we can write like this 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 clear now you have to solve this ratio and after that you will find here the value of this ratio clear now you can say sir this is a very large calculation yes better uh, actually we have here some calculation but you can easily simplify this calculation listen carefully first write all the values like this 9 into 1.6 into 1.6 clear here you can say 10 to the power 9 this is 10 to the power minus 38 clear so we can write like this 10 to the power 9 10 to the power minus 38 clear now also write here this is what 6.67 into 9.1 into we can say 1.67 into this is minus 11 here we have 31 so i am writing here 10 to the power minus 31 into 27 and here we have minus 11 so we can say this is 10 to the power minus 
38 yes or no now you can say this one and this one this is cancelled out clear and from here you can write like this 9 into 1.6 into 1.6 divided by clear this is 6.67 into 9.1 into 1.67 into when this will goes to the numerator this becomes 10 to the power 40 clear so now you can say we can actually do here some approximate calculation approximately you can say 9 and 9.1 is almost same this one and this one approximate clear now we can say here 1.6 divided by uh, we have here 1.6 divided by 6.6 .6. so approximately we can say this is 1 by 4th yes or no so we can write like this 1 by 4 into 10 to the power 40 clear so approximately we can say we are getting here 2.5 into 10 to the power 39 clear this is an approximate result this is not an actual result yes or no but actually from here you can see that we are getting this ratio this much amount we are getting this ratio 10 to the power 39 so actually what is the significance of this ratio so from here you can see if you concentrate on ke square upon g m e m p so ke square upon if you write like this g m e m p upon r square clear from here you can say this is defined as the ratio of electrostatic force to gravitational force yes or no so now you can say whenever we are getting this ratio it means electrostatic force is more stronger compared to gravitational force clear and actually we know the gravitational force is the weakest force in nature and the strongest force we have this is nuclear force but if we talk about electrostatic force electrostatic force is much much greater than gravitational force yes or no so this is the significance of this ratio that we are getting more value of attraction or we can say more value of electrostatic force compared to gravitational force clear so this is all about this question clear to everyone